this video we're going to be talking about our little one inch micro craw. I'm going to be showing you different ways to rig this and how to fish it. So we'll start with my favorite way of fishing this little micro craw, and that's with a little small jig head and just a small float. And the jig head size you're going to want to be using, this is a size 10 here. It fits this micro craw pretty good. You can go up to a size 8. We'll also fit it just fine. A little bit heavier jig head there too. Either of them will work just fine. Now when I'm fishing just this simple little small float, it does a good job the rig maybe up to two to three feet. Once you start getting much deeper than that, you really want to use a slip float. Grab it here. And basically we just have our inline float there with the bead and our little stopper that we can take and adjust nice and deep. This will make it a little bit easier to cast because this float will slip all the way down here to our jig head and allow us to cast it out a lot, lot easier than if you had a big, long, four-foot little bobber rig. Now, another simple, super simple way to fish this is just with a bait holder hook and a split shot. So just a simple split shot rig. The split shot only needs to be eight, 10 inches away at the most. And you can just simply take your little micro craw and just hook it through the tail. Go up through the tail there. That's all you have to do. And you can also add a float to this as well. You can put a float a couple feet up there and uh, it'll do good job of fooling those big bluegills. You can also just fish this on the bottom, slow creep it back to you. Um, throw it out there, let it sink all the way to the bottom. Make sure you have a clean bottom when you're fishing this rig. If it's too weedy, you'll just get hung up in the weeds. You want to use a float or something like that for a weedy bottom. If you have a clean bottom, you can throw this out there, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and just slowly creep it back towards you. Now another rig for when they get a little bit more finicky, a little bit harder to fool, is a drop shot rig. And we have our drop shot weight here on our tag end of our line. A short shank hook facing up with a drop shot knot. You can find a video for that also on our channel. And I like to just rig the micro craw. You can just basically go up through the bottom of the tail just like that. That'll work. But I like to actually take it and thread it onto the hook myself. That way it'll sit more perpendicular to the line down there when it's hanging on the bottom. So you can adjust the depth here as well depending on how tall the weeds are, where the fish are suspended. Uh, sometimes you can get away with it being real short like this, only a few inches. Uh, sometimes you need to go a couple feet away from the hook there. So it just kind of depends on the situation and where the fish are. Um, also how high the weeds are uh, in the lake that you're fishing. And really that's just four or five simple little ways to fish our little one inch micro craw. Like I said, one of my favorites, and one I usually go back to the most, is just this simple, small little micro jig head, simple float, that's all there is to it, and that gets the job done for me, I'd say, at least 70% of the time. Uh, sometimes I'll revert to a, a drop shot rig if they're starting to get a little finicky and they're in deeper water. Um, I will use that slip float rig quite a bit too when they're in a little deeper water. But like I said, this one, if you're looking for just a go-to, something to start and play around with, this little simple float rig is one of my favorites down here. So, and that is our little one inch micro craw and how to, how to fish them.